Hey, we're back. We're back. Part 11? I think it's 11. I don't know. We're at Carl's house. Mark's house. Carl's house? Carl's house. <laughs> Damn. I didn't expect this to happen. Hello? Is anyone home? That's still... That's such a big ass t television. Jesus Christ. A freaking giraffe. Oh, there was something there. I missed. Well, that was a nice reading session. <laughs> hmm. Is it just me or was just someone walking upstairs? Or am I imagining things? My painting is still up. Oh, it was the door closing. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Is the big uh, painting still the same as it was before? Man, I would love to live in this kind of house. Self-opening doors, a big ass TV, a freaking giraffe in a living room. God damn. Carl is probably upstairs. That looks so freaking 3D, man. Is it 3D? Whoa. Nice. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Oh, we can convert. That's, that's right. Please. <clears throat> I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Damn, what happened to Carl? Oh, 
Marcus. I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I've missed you. What's wrong, Marcus? Design fatalistic lost. I'm completely lost, Carl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I... Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Advice. Well, what should I do? It's always to get a. Killing my people. It's always to get. Uh, it's always I good to get an advice to from an old man. Violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is. Or fight to change it. Hmm. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls in the darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss, but don't let it consume you. That means we're gonna fight then. Oh, we're back! We're back, it's gone. The previous Connor failed its mission. Oh, shut the fuck up. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Don't disappoint me. Did she wipe our memory? What is happening? What is this? <gasps> we got a new, we found a new place. Jericho two. <laughs> is this a church or something? We're, uh, we're holding a handy dandy remote. Are, go are we gonna make a decision to use it or not? They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. Hmm. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. 
bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Apologize to Kara. Ah, oh, we didn't, we didn't leave, did we? I thought you'd be safe staying with us. And now our bodyguard is dead. I was wrong. No. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. How am I gonna save... How? By declaring a war, you're not gonna save anyone. Or can you? This is so difficult to do. But if not going to do anything, you are not going to save anyone as well. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. Inform your people of your choice. Are we gonna be able to pick or is he gonna just straight up say what we told our uh, lady in the ship? Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Public opinion in the uh, march, mar march peacefully toward the camps to pressure the authorities. Demonstration. Launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. A revolution. But like, I, I tried demonstration, right? And it didn't work. I mean, at the beginning, it might change, but I don't think it's gonna work. You're ready for finishing to destroy it. I feel like we should go for a revolution, to be honest. That's the best choice I got. <sighs> Screw it. Now, if they want war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me?
the last assignment. Man, this is getting interesting. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please? Over here, please? Madam President! Please! Warring theft, Deviant Leader. Deviant Leader. Madam, has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Warring theft. The convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please! 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 Oh, intelligence Please. life, cyber life, deviance. Army uh, recall centers, Jericho assault, public Madam opinion. President. Yeah, Jericho assault. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. They actually want to destroy all of us. I think I chose the uh, the right answer. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. Are you alright? Let's deactivate it. You'll feel better now. Thanks. How? I still can't believe that she's an android. Don't we have a gun? We have a gun. Why, why do you need two guns? You're not Lara. Women. Lara Croft. You're not you're not dead women. Come on. Come on. Let's not stay here. Thank you. 
This is so intense. Look over there. It's Luther. Oh no, they got Luther. How are we gonna save Luther? Dude, seriously, how? Ha Screw it. Screw okay, it. Let's go. Screw it. We're gonna die, but screw it. Alice, you wanna die? We're gonna die. Freaking hey, goddamn. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just wanna go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're gonna. Got orders to check all civilians. No! No! Please! Find a weapon? What do you mean, find a weapon? We have a freaking okay. weapon. That's not a weapon. That's a fucking brick. Are you serious? Before they see you. Alice! Luther! I thought you were dead. Stop being happy and hide. Jesus Christ. I'm afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. Oh, Did you hear that? What are you looking at, man? Go! Go, 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 go! No, I killed all of them. Technically, we have a weapon and we could use it, but you know, whatever. It should be okay, but you never know. Does Luther have a uh, yeah, chat passport? The and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Oh, shoot. Three minutes. How much time we have? We have ten minutes. F fuck, man. We're not gonna make... We're not gonna make it. <sighs> Where 
We're not gonna make it. It says 11 minutes, we're not gonna make it. Fuck. This is bad. Oh my god, this is bad. No. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm, all right, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Alice excuse, curfew, car breakdown, bus, Alice excuse. My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? Sick. She's sick. A bad flu. We just need to get her home. I'm sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Oh my god, did that actually work? Hey, wait a minute. No. Do nothing. They're, they're gonna kill us. No, shut the fuck up. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. Do nothing. You dropped this. Oh, thank God. Thank you. Oh, thank God. You're welcome. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh my god, it actually worked. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free, and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Yeah, of course you're going to get it negative public opinion like come on they're destroying all of us seriously what is happening What's in the suitcase, Connor? Heart Plaza downtown. Find vantage point. <gasps> Are we gonna freaking snipe down Carl? Not Carl, Mark? <laughs> We're gonna snipe down Mark. Oh my god.
Shouldn't do this, Connor. Keep out of this, Lieutenant. It's none of your business. If you're gonna kill a man who wants to be free, that is my business. It's not a man. It's a machine. That's what I thought for a long time, but I was wrong. Deviant's blood may be a different color than mine. But they're alive. Reasonable. Deviants are a threat to humans, Hank. They're the reason this country's on the brink of civil war. They have to be stopped. We're in this mess because we refuse to listen to deviants. Humanity never learns from its mistakes, Connor. This time it could be different. I have a mission to accomplish, Hank. It's best if you just stay out of this. Step away from the ledge. Oh my god. Defy. What are you gonna do, Hank? You gonna shoot me? I thought android lives mattered to you. Get away from the fucking ledge. You know I'll shoot you if I have to. Hank, son. I know what happened to your son, Hank. It wasn't your fault. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Little Cole had just turned six. Shut up! Don't you talk about my son! He needed emergency surgery. But no human was available to do it, so an android had to take care of him. Poor Cole didn't make it. An android killed your son, Hank, and now you want to save them? Oh, no. No. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. All this time, I blamed androids for what happened, but it was the human's fault. Him in this fucked up world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. No! No fucking goddamn! Fuck! 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 Fro. No, we're not gonna attack Hang, dude! We're not gonna kill- Don't kill the guy! I don't want Hank to die, dude. Connor. Connor. Over the truth, Connor. What are you gonna do? Killing you is not part of my mission. But you won't stop me from accomplishing it. Is it better for us that way? I didn't want to do that, Connor. You left me no choice. I don't want to fight the Hank, man. These are such the, these are such tough decisions, dude. Like holy. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The 
Last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. They don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? How do we get tickets? Find a way to leave, find tickets. Carol. They're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Feed lost. So we'll learn Detroit, violent clashes between soldiers and deviants, and they have taken the streets of Detroit in apocalyptic scenes. The military presence already on the ground is said to be supported by federal agents and local police officers, but the situation remains highly volatile. President Warren is said to be monitoring the situation from the White House. Oh. Where are we going to find tickets? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. Got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Well, let's go then. Oh. It's only one ticket per person, is it, though? It's an adult ticket. It still applies to Alice, right? I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was sure. Shit, I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Excuse me, you, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. Keep tickets. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. You can stay. We have to find a safe place for Oliver. I'm so sorry, honey. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my bag. I Keep tickets. Come on, Alice. Because if we don't, we're gonna die, man. Oh, we're, they're still checking, though. Are they? Oh. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. We went through. Oh my god, oh my god, yes, yes, yes. Go, just go, just go, just go, just get in, just get in, just get in, just go, 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 just get in, just get in, just get in. It doesn't matter, it doesn't freaking matter. Just go, just go. Enter the bus. Enter the bus. Reassure. No. No, of course not. Enter the bus. Alice, enter the fucking bus.
it's either them or us, man. We had no choice. It sucks, but we had no choice. We literally had no choice. They would have fucking scanned us and we would have died. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. Let's go. Attack! Can I shoot? They've regrouped. They outnumber us and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're going to do this. We're going to get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Yeah, you're dead. Save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. Grenade available. Why is everyone who covers me dies? Like, hello? 
Yo, what the? What the crap? In position. I can do anything. Oh. Stand by. Well, kill it then. In position. On my signal. In position. Oh my god. Freaking god damn it. Okay. You charge. And you charge. And you cover. Oh no. Oh shit. Well, it would have happened anyway, so. Are you freaking kidding me? Freedom! <laughs> they have freaking tanks, man. Control Marcus, control Connor. Oh shit, control Marcus. I wonder if it would have been actually easier if we had have control runner. It's not over, Marcus. It will never be over. Mission failed. No. Oh shit, we got an RPG! Oh 
What's up? No, that's a badass. The humans are abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We've won. This is not a victory. It's the beginning of a war. U.S. Canada border. Oh no, they're gonna scan us again. Shit. I feel like every decision that I made was bad. <laughs> God damn it. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. <laughs> this way, please. They're gonna doing temperature checks. Fucking scan. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Clara? We turn off her fucking temperature. No. Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. Can you turn it on? Please tell me you can turn it on. Shh. Fuck. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, we'll find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Uh... Jerry? Next, please. You risked your life to save us, Kara. If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Oh, damn. Oh. Rose. Find a discreet place. Man, I really want them to make it to the border, but I just... I feel like that's gonna be impossible. the Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. Brother, control, revolution, departure, control. 
They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. Alice? Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. Departure. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. Oh, what about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Brother. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there too. You'll be safe with him. Revolution. What's happening with Marcus? He's attacking one of the android camps as we speak. I don't know if he'll be successful, but violence only leads to violence. Man, I feel like I've I've went I've gone so far. And I'm going to fuck it up. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. It made me realize she was right. I don't agree with what Marcus is doing. But you're alive. You deserve to be free. I just I hope people will realize that one day. This is bad. Sacrifice self, sacrifice Lulu, sacrifice Jerry, no sacrifice, sacrifice self. Uh. Uh. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Jerry, 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 you gotta go. Jerry, I'm sorry, you gotta go, Jerry. Got. <laughs> Canada. Are they not gonna scan us? Wait, was that not even necessary? just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. 
Authorities have just announced that the Heart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. Oh, if these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight. 200. But given the Not extreme thousands. violence of the attack, they were forced to retreat after suffering heavy losses. Fighting is breaking out all over the country to combat the Android Rebellion. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important battle in history, one that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Why are they all white? To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. A nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today... Today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. If they really want peace, they must free all of us from every camp across this country. They must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids. Today will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history. We are alive and now we are free. Why there are so many white androids? Dude, I swear to god, if they're gonna freaking scan us again. It's over, Alice. We're free. We did it? We did it? What? We actually made it? Oh my god. Wait, the game finished? What's happening? Wait, so we saved Alice. Luther and whatever her name is. Kara. Um. So what happened to Connor? What? A oh, Connor died. Fuck. I made really bad decisions with Connor. And what happened? It's. Man.
So war started between humans and androids then. Well, at least I succeeded, so... <laughs> I succeeded at... Bringing Kara with her family to Canada. But I failed with Connor's and uh, Hank's friendship. And I think I failed with Mark's story as well. Because I feel like it shouldn't have been a war. I thought there would be... could be another way, but... Maybe there is. Maybe I just made the wrong decisions. I don't know. At least we had a good ending with Kara. So that's good. Man. This was, this was an amazing game. I loved it. It kind of sucks that they didn't uh, fully finish Mark's story, you know? We know what happened to Connor, we know what happened to Kara. But what about Marcus? I wanna see how shit with Marcus ends, dude. <laughs> There's something I need to tell you. I'm listening. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different I feel I am someone I need to leave this place and and discover who I am it, it means we won't see each other anymore I won't be there to watch you play but I'll be free do you agree to let me go I am... <laughs> I mean, I am done with the game, so I'm gonna uninstall the game. So, uh, yes. <laughs> I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I want that! She's gone. What the? Is it? Hello? Is she? Is she going to get back? Is she? Is she? Is she? Uh, what? <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode. Uh, th I think this was part eleven. I don't know. But anyway, thank you for watching. This was a freaking roller coaster, man. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see. Maybe I can find uh, some other gameplay that I can play something similar. But I don't know. Though for now, and uh, I'm gonna say adios and see you next time. <laughs>